Hi everyone and welcome to your tarot love messages. This is going to be a collective message. However, I believe if you've clicked on this reading, there's something here in it for you. There's something here that has led you or guided you to these messages here. And maybe these messages are something that you need to be reminded of. Maybe they're going to reaffirm something for you. However, I feel like, you know, there is something here that it's intended or meant for you. I strongly believe that the things that we're drawn to, the people, the, the situations, the circumstances, um, the things that we're attracted to is not by random, it's not coincidence, it speaks to us in some way. Um, we're not going to pose a question today, we're just going to give the cards a shuffle and see what messages is it that the universe or the tarot guides want you to know at this particular point in time. Okay, um, and before I begin, I just want to say for those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading, one in which the reading itself will be tailored to you and your situation specifically, please feel free to reach out and connect with me. My email address will be listed at the bottom of the video below. energy in the spread here and fire of course is a very primal type of energy okay so we begin with the five of wands here and no matter which way that you tend to interpret the card itself it often is suggestive of conflict here it's probably one of the most straightforward cards in the deck itself although there may be room for interpretation here but the five men being depicted in the cards and the imagery here are obviously all in conflict here okay so their ones are being raised into the air they're not necessarily being used as weapons although although one can perceive it that way but to me it feels like they're sort of stopping themselves from moving forward as they keep clashing with one another so it feels as though their aggression their um, conflict here is bringing about trouble but no one seems to budge no one seems to compromise here okay um so it could denote like a healthy competition okay or it could mean that there is something here within your energies that's bringing about a setback here it is of course this you do have you know the suit of wands that has appeared numerous times here and it is the representative of the fire signs in astrology here Therefore, it's no surprise that the Five of Wands here represents passionate struggles, fiery conflicts here. And to me, it's definitely calling attention to a disharmony in your energy or in your energies with your romantic uh, interests, your romantic person here. So maybe you're engaged in some sort of mental warfare. Maybe you're engaged in physical warfare with your connecting energy, even with yourself here. But the condition, okay, this energy state, this emotional state here, sorry, is definitely bringing about anger, hurt, confusion, a lot of conflict and stress to those energies involved here. There's always a way out, okay, there's always a resolution, but right now it feels like neither parties nor yourself nor a connecting energy here is interested in resolving or finding a way to resolve some sort of issue or some sort of conflict here, okay, but... If this does resonate with you, then the message that, you know, you're being um, invited to look at is that you must dig deep within yourself to find peace, to bring peace to a conflict, to bring peace to your situation, or just to bring peace here once again to your circle here, your situation. Because that constant arguing, that back and forth, that disagreeing, this kind of five of wands energy is definitely not solving any problems here, but obviously only right, um, adding to this anxiety and discord that you're feeling or your romantic energy is feeling here. So if you're hoping, I mean, if you're hoping to gain peace or even freedom, then the message may be for you to extend an olive branch here to someone. 
So with the Magician, this is alchemy at its best. And right now, okay, I'm picking up that right now is a perfect time to move forward um, on an idea. So, you know, just going off that, extending an olive branch, um, bringing peace to conflict, going about finding ways, you know, to, to uh, resolving issues. It feels like now's a really good time to take action and to move forward on an idea that you've recently, you know, have been pondering or you've recently conceived here. Um, of course, in your, it's also a quest to manifest your goals as well. So I'm getting the message that the universe here is asking for you to take inspired action here. And to do that, I feel like you will need more focused attention and intense concentration to bring whatever it is that you want to bring to your fruition. This extends to romantic situations, business, career, um, basically, you know, whatever it is that you have going on with your life here, focus on that one thing because the tools are available at your, you know, the tools and resources are available at your disposal. So focus on that one thing to move towards that goal here. I like that the Nine of Pentacles is the next card that follows on from the Magician because it's a card that sort of follows on from the success and the accomplishment of the Magician here. It definitely represents an achievement of some kind of um, achievement of a kind that sort of has confidence and security attached from generating something solid, something real. So whether it, you know, it does um, imply a romantic connection or it does imply you manifesting a certain goal or idea here it feels like there is something that's coming to fruition and with the nine of pentacles energy it's an energy where you can finally relax and unwind and enjoy enjoy the fruits of your labor or just sit back and enjoy and watch the manifestation occur here to me the nine of pentacles is the card of the independent woman here um it's someone who i feel like It's someone who has a lot of self-belief and dedication to craft the life that they want or to craft the relationship that they want or that ideal, you know, um, romantic partner here. And to me, it feels like the Nine of Pentacles, you are inching towards a moment, like a proud moment where you can look back on your story so far or you can look back on the journey, whether, again, just circling back, whether it is to whether it's like to a certain idea that you want to expand on or an idea that you want to build upon or a romantic relationship that you want to come to fruition. It feels like you're coming towards a very, like you're entering a very strong position or you're coming towards this proud moment where you can look back um, at a certain situation or you can look back at the starting point and just see how far you've really come to achieve this certain thing here. Okay, it's also a card of abundance and gratitude, so definitely be grateful, um, you know, it's, be grateful for all the hard work and all the good things that you have earned and be appreciative here as well. Take a moment to celebrate here, to celebrate the life, to celebrate your little wins, because I definitely feel like what I'm seeing for you is you're nourishing your roots here. Take this card to mean as a sign of encouragement here. You can build the life you want. You can have that, you can achieve that goal, that dream, you know, those aspirations that you have. You can have that ideal partnership, that ideal relationship, that marriage, okay? Just take stock of all the skills, talents that you have that you already possess and think about how you can use them to cultivate that dream, that lifestyle, you know, whatever it is that you want here. So kind of like create your own rules in life, I guess. Work out how you can structure your life in a way that suits and fit, it fits you best. Also, for a lot of you, I'm seeing that you are building very sturdy foundations, especially in business, okay? Um, for a lot of you, you've had a lot of ideas that have uh, sprung forth and you're creating very sturdy foundations upon which I see you in the future building your, the life that you want here. Okay, bottom row, you've got the King of Wands, the Six of Cups and the Seven of Wands. King of Wands is pure fire energy in a very masculine form as we know it. And, you know, the King of Wands is an energy that is charismatic, focused, determined here. And to me, it feels like it's a reminder that you're being, it reminds you that, you know, you're being invited to lead the, lead and live the kind of life that you want with the intent, the long-term view and the visions that you harbor for yourself. 
because for a lot of you I feel like you have a grand idea of what you truly want you have this grand vision and this grand idea and these grand expectations um, but it's just what you need to do is just find a way for it to um, manifest for it to come into fruition here the appearance of the king of wands is also presenting an opportunity to you like it's presenting itself as an opportunity to you whether this extends to your love life your career any other situations it just feels like if you want whatever whatever this opportunity means for you here if you want for it to be successful it means that you're fully going to have to commit yourself and commit your energy to this opportunity here so you know whatever outcome you wish you're going you hold the power and you're really going to have to nurture that nurture those seeds here basically you're the determining factor if you want that ideal partnership that ideal relationship if you want that you know that business or that business partnership whatever it is that you want it's like you hold the power and if you fully commit to your, commit yourself to this situation or to that goal or vision that you have it's going to blossom and grow here in a very beautiful way um Okay, and next you have the Six of Cups here, which of course is ruled by the emotional realm, right? The Suit of Cups. And for a lot of you watching, I feel like a lot of you watching and listening to this, you're really yearning. It's like you're yearning to return to a much happier time, okay? This is nostalgia, of course, it's memories, familiarity, healing, comfort, um, sentimentality, pleasure, Okay, it's it's innocence as well. So for a lot of you, I feel like you're wanting to return to a happier time. Maybe when you were a child, maybe when things were less complicated, maybe, you know, when things were so much easier here. Um, and many times those situations are a thing of the past here, which maybe reflect an aspect of yourself that no longer exists or that has dissolved or vanished over time. Like maybe it's your inner child, maybe it's, the dreams that you've had and you now think are unattainable here. Um, it's like you're wanting to return to a familiar place. Maybe it could be a hometown, a friend's home, a school, or just revisiting. It could be revisiting a memory, walking down memory lane, or just revisiting a time where you felt you were like truly happy, maybe even at your happiest, or a place that is very sentimental to you or holds a lot of meaning for you here so for some of you you could be doing that okay you could be bringing back old memories here looking through a photo album you could be coming into contact with something or someone that reminds you of a childhood or just reminds you of a time in your life when things were so much more simpler than they are right now um, it can also suggest that you have suffered a lot of loss and a lot of emotional disappointment lately and that you're sort of trying to make the journey back home. You know, it's been a long, arduous journey. And you're kind of looking to the past to find answers to the current struggles that you have now here. Um, you could also be trying to seek comfort in, and warmth in people, like in connecting energies. People that give you strength to face those difficulties and to face the trials that may be in front of you here. But it's definitely, you're trying to revive the past in some way. And I feel like for some of you, you're even doing this on a subconscious level. It's like, you know, the nostalgia, it's like reviving the past and the nostalgia that comes with it. You could be exploring happy memories, though. You could be revisiting the past in that sense. Um, you could potentially be connecting with someone who will feel oddly familiar to you, okay? And therefore, you may be revisiting past memories in that sense, if that makes sense. Um, you may even... Um, come into contact with an ex here an ex may reappear in your life again and maybe it can resurface old feelings here with the six of cups energy here um, and if some of you are struggling okay just because the different cards that it's wedged in between if you are struggling with the current romantic energy or with the current situation I feel like the six of cups is inviting for you to take a look back like look backwards at where it all started at the great times that you, you've shared with this person and try and relive them and see if that can bring you some sort of comfort or even momentum in your current situation here. But definitely, I feel like the Six of Cups here, well, it, it's, an, it's made an appearance here because the message that I have for some of you, maybe not all of you watching, but for some of you, I feel like you can relate to this, is that the past, in a way, it does nourish your future. 
and I feel like there are lessons from the past that you have learned and you want those lessons to remain in your life and they, are, they will somehow play a very key or instrumental role in your future. And lastly with the Seven of Wands, so the way that I've just done this reading is, you know, I just feel like every card um, has a message, I guess, for some, if not all of you watching or listening here. Um, the Seven of Wands, I'm seeing that there will be challenges to, to face when it comes to the success of a certain connection, of a certain situation, a certain project or venture here. Okay, there may be... Uh, there may be a position that you could be facing from connecting energies or from an outside source. You may, you must, you absolutely must remain dedicated and committed to your goal um, and to your desire here. And you must keep pushing on with a clear purpose. Okay. And in doing so, you'll definitely overcome any obstacles or any challenges here. It's basically all about standing your ground here, no matter what challenges you, or no matter what is currently opposing you, okay? Yes, there are setbacks that some of you are facing. Yes, there is opposition. Yes, there is conflict. Yes, there is pushback that some of you are facing here. And I know this is very general, but you're going to have to, you know, um, sort of... I guess personalize it to your situation but to me it feels like you need to keep fighting for yourself for your beliefs for your values okay keep fighting for um, you know whatever feels like it's threatening or opposing you here and I love reading you could be experiencing some sort of uncomfortable situation here okay you may find yourself in a situation where you're currently fighting with a romantic energy romantic interest or you could be experiencing objections from like their family members or just like their friends or just connecting energies here and you know the, the pushback is to sort of prevent you from being together here so despite the external the exterior influences that may be affecting you and you know your romantic energy here it's important for you to hold on to that feeling okay like fill yourself with confidence and hold on to this feeling and it will keep you re-energized especially when the pushback and, you know, the challenges get really tough here. All right, guys, and these are just some of the messages that the universe wants to sort of, um, you know, relay back to you. So hopefully these have been helpful for at least some, if not for all of you watching and listening. I want to thank you for your time and your attention. Um, please show your support by liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting. For those of you interested in a personalized reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.